how is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today we have got one very interesting smartphone with us which is the Honor 400 Pro and what's more exciting is the fact that it's running the latest and greatest Magic OS 10 based on Android 16 since a lot of you were asking me to make a video on this specific UI I bought this Honor phone which currently runs the latest version of Magic OS so I can make a video explaining all the features and customizations of Magic OS 10. Guys, I try to cover all different Android UIs and a lot of comparison videos too. So if you love watching such content, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It would mean a lot to me. Now with that said, make sure to watch this video until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. All right guys, just for the quick comparison, I've also got the Honor Magic V3 which hasn't got the update and it still runs on the Magic OS 9. Now if we compare it side by side with the Magic OS 10, the first thing you're gonna notice is that there have been a lot of resemblances from iOS 26 in the latest version of Magic OS. For example, just look at how the lock screen looks like. We have got a glass effect added to the clock along with the stack notifications too. Not just that, if I unlock my phone, you can see how everything has that glass effect from the widgets to the control center. Even you can download this new icon pack that makes every icon fully transparent. So no doubt Honor has taken a lot of inspiration from Apple's liquid glass. But what's more interesting is we do have the option to adjust the transparency level. All you need to do is just go to home screen and style, scroll all the way down and then go into home screen settings. Here not only do you get the option to turn on or off the transparency mode, but you can also adjust the transparency level by using this slider. So you can make it as transparent as you want or give it a frosted glass effect like this. This is what I really liked about Android. I mean, even if they copy iOS liquid glass, they did give you more freedom to customize it however you want to. Talking about the similarities, they have also added this dock to the home screen which was not there in the previous version and honestly the entire home screen is fully covered with the iOS liquid glass. I mean we have got transparent looking icons, transparent folders, transparent widgets and a dock which is again fully transparent. But the best part is you do get the option to enable or disable this glass effect and as I said earlier, you can also adjust the transparency level too. Next, if I open the control center, here also they have beautifully implemented the glass effect and if I interact with any of the toggles or slider, there is this nice little reflection which I think looks really really cool. Not just the glass effect but they have also made it more rounded and it looks very familiar to what we see on iOS. Next, if I click on edit, we do get options to reposition the volume and brightness slider we can change the position of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggle and there is an option to add or remove tiles as well. When you swipe right, you get access to all the notifications and again it has this glass effect which follows the iOS 26 design language. Despite the fact that there is a lot of inspiration taken from Apple, I still like how they have implemented all this throughout the UI. I think the implementation is quite good and it doesn't feel like a cheap copy of iOS liquid glass. Moving on to the lock screen, there are a lot of changes made with the Magic OS 10. First of all, we do get the stack notifications just like iOS 26 and there is this glass effect added to the clock which can be stretched similar to iOS 26. They have also given us the option to enable or disable the depth effect. Apart from this, we do get the option to further customize the lock screen. We have got different clock styles to choose from. You can change the font, customize the clock color, enable or disable the depth effect, add some blur in the background and if you go to the lock screen style, here you can completely change the look of your lock screen with different themes and wallpapers. Guys, there are a lot of visual changes made with the Magic OS 10. As you can see, we now have this modern looking lock screen customization page where I can quickly swipe through different lock screens. And not just that, even if I go to the phone settings, then to home screen and style, here we now get this brand new interface which definitely looks very modern and clean compared to Magic OS 9. We've got home screen and lock screen customization at the top followed by some other options related to themes always on display. 
fonts and icons. Another interesting thing is that they have now added the stack view for the recent apps menu. Overall, I think they did a pretty good job in terms of aesthetics and now the Magic OS looks a lot more refined compared to the previous version. Next in the settings, there is this brand new section for the Honor AI features. We have got Magic Portal which was previously present on the Magic OS 9 where you can just press and hold on an image or an object to open the Magic Portal. From there, you can easily drag and drop that particular image on your favorite app or folder. Then we have Magic Sidebar, AI Translate, Call Translation, AI Writer and there is something called AI Memories which is very similar to the plus point feature that we get on Oppo and OnePlus phones. All you need to do is just swipe with your three fingers like this and it recognizes what's on your phone screen. Then add it to the AI memory space with more detailed information. So this is something which we have already seen on Oxygen OS 15 and I'm glad that even Honor has added this useful feature to the Magic OS 10. Next, if I swipe with my two fingers, we still get this quick menu where we can customize the wallpaper, change the icon style, modify the layout and even adjust the corner radius of every single element throughout the interface. All of this can be directly accessed from the home screen itself just like what we had on the Magic OS 9. Finally, if I talk about animations and smoothness, Magic OS has always been one of the smoothest Android UI and after the Magic OS 10 update, it definitely feels more polished and refined compared to the previous version. I mean, the animations are buttery buttery smooth and it is very close to what we see on other Chinese skins. Not just the animations, even the scrolling feels really really smooth. You just need to change the refresh rate from dynamic to high and you will have a very smooth scrolling experience on this phone. It runs 120Hz all the time unlike some other skins. So the fluidity and smoothness are top notch and I don't have any complaints regarding this on the Magic OS 10. That's pretty much it for this video. These are some of the features and customizations related to Magic OS 10. Let me know in the comment section which is your favorite feature and if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.